things of God. And and uh, they respect me, but I make them think, I make them think, shame on us if we don't make people think. Uh, I started the talks program in my school district. Um, I'm a former teacher. So for every white boy that was suspended, seven black boys were suspended. And I felt that that was wrong. Somebody needs to do something. You know, when we say somebody ought to do something, then go look in the mirror. <laughs> Guess who that somebody's going to end up being? End up being you. And I, I got my friends, all of my friends, I gave them three boys apiece. The principal was so happy, she kept bringing me boys. She was so happy, she kept bringing me boys. I kept, kept getting my friends. And I would get my friends, and each, each one of my friends would get three, three kids. You talk about racial reconciliation. I tell you what, you mentor uh, two little black girls and a white girl, your life will change, third graders, because they tell you exactly what they think. They don't hold anything back. They tell you exactly what's on their mind. Uh, one of my white friends, close to my age, came to me. He said, man, you never, you never know what my boy told me today. I said, what did he tell you? He said, he was all dressed up. He said, I asked him, what did he dress up for? He says, we're having a party. The boy said, we're having a party. And, and uh, my friend said, well, what's the party about? And he says, well, my brother's getting out of prison today. We're having a party. He said, in a million years, I would have never imagined having a getting out of prison party. But that just shows you what you learn when you mentor. When you mentor, you learn stuff. And, and it's going to it, it cause you to uh, reach out. I have one friend. I have a couple of friends. One guy's a computer guy. He stays and he was in a computer screen all day. It took us two years to convince him to mentor. We convinced him to mentor. And he had three boys over, over. He started in the third grade, went all the way to high school. And he moved out west. And he flew home for the boys' graduation. That's, that's the type of friends, that, friendships that are developed when, when, uh, when, when, when men mentor boys. I have another friend that uh, he, uh, he's a financial guy. He deals with uh, finances and, and uh, he had the perfect group. He had a black boy, a white boy, and a Latino boy. And he stayed with these boys from the third grade to the 12th grade. And, and he really, taught them a whole lot. He's a gardener too. He taught them how to garden, mm -hmm. got skill sets. And even today, many years later, uh, when the white boy moved, the black boy moved to St. Louis and when he comes, when he comes back to town, he doesn't go to his cousin's house first. He goes to his mentor's house first. <laughs> he goes to his mentor's house first. And um, all of the boys are doing well. So uh, as a church, we need to be pragmatic. We need to go out and get them because they're not coming I said they're not coming we need to go get them we need to, uh, and I'm, I'm I'm still trying to be Mr. Peoples for people I'm trying to show love to people because if love don't get you guess what nothing will mm. if love doesn't get you and for those of us who call ourselves Christians the greatest weapon that we have is Love, L-O-V-E. 